Good afternoon. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for attending the uh, session today at the v, v. Brown Bag Workshop. My name is Eric Randles. I'm Vice President of Corporate Development and Alliances at Violin Memory, and I want to start by thanking the OpenStack team for the opportunity to present to you today, and uh, Violin is uh, looking forward to uh, ongoing participation as a member of the OpenStack community. So in today's keynotes, we heard a couple different themes that resonated, and I think they're going to be really uh, put to a practical application here in the case study that I'm going to talk with you about today. One of those themes was about choice. Another theme that we heard about uh, was about agility and performance within the data center. With our, today's case study that I'll be presenting, we're going to explore the intersection of choice, doing more with existing assets in the data center, as well as increasing the service level agreements and the performance of the infrastructure of the data center to the users uh, in this particular case study. So the natural fit between OpenStack and Violin um, really occurred based on the fact that we both have very similar visions in terms of the future of the data center in corporate environments. Violin is a disruptive technology providing an all flash array uh, solution into the data center which really uh, has disrupted the economics of the data center and provided at the same time of reducing those economics a better performing solution. Similarly, OpenStack is about disrupting the uh, infrastructure of the data center, putting more of the uh, power and command of the data center in the hands uh, of the users, and really uh, making the data center more agile. So with those aligned philosophies, uh, we look forward to continuing our participation in the OpenStack community. So with the case study today, this aligns around many of the trends that we're seeing in the modern data center. And these trends really, in some way, are conflicting with each other. Because on the one hand, you have the data centers that are required to provide higher levels of service, uh, more performance, become more agile in responding to the requirements and needs of the user community, and therefore providing a number of different workloads uh, that are tiered based on the service level and the performance requirements across those workloads. In many cases, the, there's a need to scale to support tens of thousands of users across the business and be able to do that while maintaining consistent performance uh, and consistent service level agreements to those users. In addition, the today's CIOs and technology leaders are being forced to reduce the cost and the complexity of the data center and reducing the data centers that they have down to as small as footprint as possible to make sure that the capital uh, expenses and the operational expenses uh, are held in line while ever increasing the service level and performance to the uh, end users. So to do that, we're seeing that more and more data centers are turning to frameworks like OpenStack to achieve those results and leveraging uh, solutions like Violin's All Flash Array. So with this particular case study, uh, as you heard today, and as, uh, as it pertained to another financial institution, this is a leading financial institution within the United States. It's a top five uh, financial services firm. They have many, many data centers, over 20. They have over 5,000 workloads that they need to update and provide varying levels of performance and service against to their uh, tens of thousands of users uh, and across over 50,000 virtual machines. So the scale and complexity of this particular uh, customer is uh, quite significant. Uh, and in terms of meeting those requirements, they chose to work with OpenStack, Violin Memory, and Red Hat, among other vendors, in order to build out this uh, infrastructure to meet those demands. Now, while performing and providing those levels of service to that very large 
uh, set of users, they wanted to also be able to optimize across a number of other dimensions that they were being measured against. One is they wanted to make sure that they were not locked into any particular vendor solution. They wanted to have the agility to be able to adjust across different uh, compute, networking, and storage infrastructures as necessary to continue to meet the evolving demands of their user base. They wanted to, at the same time, reduce licensing cost. They wanted to get more with less. As a result, they were looking to uh, OpenStack to help with that effort. And they wanted to establish better chargeback models because they were providing, through this, these uh, tools, a, a set of services to their customers, depending on the role and their uh, user uh, status within the uh, company, they wanted to pro really provide that di differentiated set of user experiences and performance based on the specific re requirements of those users, uh, groups, or departments within their company. And they wanted to make sure that they leveraged as much open source technology and they were able to scale this both in a hybrid as well as private cloud environment uh, to the extent possible. So what did they do? Well, they looked to OpenStack as a solution to support over 50,000 virtual machines. In fact, the scale of this uh, project is, is so massive that with one click, the customer is spinning up over 250 virtual machines uh, and we're continuing to test the limits of that scalability now. They're currently using Nova and Havana, uh, the Cinder components within those releases, and we are developing the Icehouse uh, release currently within this customer. So as new features and functions are being provided through the OpenStack community, this customer has a designated strategy to make sure that they're keeping current with those latest features and functions. And to the extent that additional scalability and management features and functions become available, uh, this particular customer is, um, wants to participate in that community and also leverage those uh, uh, new offerings as they become available from OpenStack. Underpinning this is Red Hat, there's uh, commodity compute, uh, some specific networking technologies that are really gluing all of this together. And then the violin all flash array is underpinning this from a storage perspective for those high performance workloads uh, that demand that type of price performance. So the benefits that this customer has been expecting to, and has been receiving from this uh, rollout is they're looking to reduce the number of data centers by a factor of 10. So being able by using OpenStack, by using a more efficient infrastructure layer, they're looking to consolidate these data centers down and as a result benefit from the CapEx and OpEx savings that can be used then to further invest in uh, additional technologies that will allow for continued scale, scalability and performance. They're looking to support year over year 150% growth in virtual machines. So as you can imagine, the, uh, the demands uh, every year on this infrastructure are continuing to grow, so the scalability uh, factor is absolutely key. In addition to providing that, they want to make sure that as they scale, there are no operational spikes uh, in, resulting in increased latency within this data center. And so as a result, as they continue to roll out new users, new workloads, they're doing continual testing to make sure that those new workloads are meeting the service level agreements and are not being degraded uh, by that scalability in a way that increases the latency or impairs the performance to the user community. And finally, they're looking to increase through this both the top line 
uh, revenue because many of those workloads are revenue generating workloads within the company and at the same time through that consolidation that we mentioned really reducing uh, the cost and the infrastructure uh, expenses uh, therefore increasing the overall profitability, if you will, of the data center to the business. So for this and any additional uh, OpenStack case studies, please uh, visit us at violinmemory.com. And uh, we look forward to continued participation in the community and uh, working with many of you on future projects. Thank you.